Hello, let's see a different approach for uh, creating a classical column. We will not use a boolean operation since, as, as we've seen uh, in uh, other tutorials, uh, they do not create a clean mesh. Let's start with a capsule, which uh, you can find in the extended primitives rollout. It doesn't need to be very detailed. The lesser the polygons, the easier it will be to work with. So, eight sides will just be fine. Convert the object uh, to editable poly, then uh, select the one half of the capsule and uh, just uh, cancel it. We also need to change the direction of the polygons, so select all of them and uh, click on the flip tool to make them uh, point inward. Now switch to the border sub-object, select the border and uh, with the scale tool shift click to extrude the border. Now we can save some work uh, just using only one half uh, of the object. So select uh, this uh, edge ring and connect it. Then select the lower half of the object and delete it. In order to correctly use the symmetry modifier we need to adjust the pivot position. So use the align tool to position the pivot right in the base of the object. Now just use a symmetry modifier which you can find in the modifier list and change the axis to Z. Select the top vertices and uh, flatten them on the Z direction. Now do the same thing with the external vertices on the right but on the X axis and then on the opposite side. Zoom in in this area of the mesh and uh, select and remove these two edges. In this way we'll only have quads to work with. Now select this uh, edge loop and uh, use the chamfer tool with a couple of segments. Now we don't need the symmetry modifier anymore so we can just collapse the object into an uh, editable poly. Here we are, now we have uh, our prototype, we, we can just duplicate it using the 3D snap option, just drag the leftmost ver vertex on the rightmost one. Create, uh, let's say, 12 copies of the object. And uh, just use the attach list option to attach all these meshes together. We also need to weld the vertices in the seams. So select all of them and use the weld tool. Now we need to adjust the pivot position again, uh, setting it to the to the left of the object. So uh, once again use the align tool, this time on the x-axis. Finally we can use a bend modifier on the x-axis and uh, with a direction of uh, 90. For the angle we we'll need the minus 360 value to create a, a cylindrical column. Collapse the band modifier since we don't need it anymore. 
and uh, now we need to weld the vertices in the seam just like earlier we can also remove the mm, central uh, edge loop select the loop and then uh, control click on the remove tool to remove both the, the edges and the vertices Select all of the polygons and adjust the, their smoothing groups at the, an angle of, uh, let's say, 30. And here we are, we have our classical column. We can set it safe. And that's it for now.